Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I apply this natural looking full lace wig that's really affordable and extremely beginner friendly. And if you stick around to the end, as an added bonus, I'll show you how I added temporary color. So let's get started. So this is what the wig looks like once you receive it. Um, it does come with an adjustable elastic band in the back as well as a sewn in elastic band. And this is what the part in space on the unit looks like um, straight out of the bag. Um, as you can see, the part in space is natural. However, I will go in a little later just to customize that a little bit more and get it to match to my complexion. Now this braid in the front is reserved for the baby hair so I'm going to go ahead and take that out and I did straighten the baby hair with my flat iron just so the baby hair will lay flat. I decided to lay this unit down with my got to be glue gel along with the got to be glue free spray. I do think that you will need to use the gel and cannot use the free spray alone as this wig has weight to it and I'm not sure that the free spray will be able to hold it down completely. I will say that the wig does fit my head pretty snug and I would have been able to simply apply it to the sides of the unit. So as I mentioned, I am going to apply some of my Fit Me powder to the part in space and that's gonna just help this hairline blend in flawlessly with my complexion. This step is of course optional. Now I'm gonna just tie the hairline down with my scarf and let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. And once I'm finished, the unit is laying very flush with my skin. And look how natural this blends in with my skin. So the last step is to add some baby hair. I do like to use this razor um, because it allows me to cut the baby hair at not such a blunt angle as well as it allows me to thin out the baby hair without having to necessarily pluck it. Now I'm going to lay the baby hairs down on this unit. I would have cut the baby hair shorter as well as thinned out the baby hair more than I did. However, I do plan on selling this unit on my website so I did want to customize it completely to my liking just in case the person who purchases it is a baby hair fan. So this is what it looks like after I've customized the baby hair. And I'm just going to play around with the hair to see what type of part in I would like. You guys know I don't do a middle part. So this is my version of a side part. Now I do like to add little trinkets or hair jewelry to the braids. Now this is only the second time I've ever worn box braids. I did review one unit previously and I added some jewelry to make it more unique and dress it up a little bit. Unfortunately, this is all I had on hand and the gold string is honestly too short, but I'm still gonna use it. This is a nicely constructed official African braided unit. It comes straight from Nigeria. It'll run you under $200 and does require two weeks processing. Guys, I just wanna show you the back of the unit. This unit is, as I mentioned, a full lace and it's very full. The left side of the unit, I added my makeup powder and you can see it looks a lot more natural. And you can't tell me this ain't my hair. It comes complete with the naps in the back. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but as you can see, the white side comparison is a lot lighter. So, since I didn't have much hair jewelry, I decided let me see what it would look like if I added color to these braids. Now I had purchased some hair paint wax uh, a few months ago and I never really got around to using it. So I decided to be adventurous and apply it to this unit. Now this is a temporary color, it does wash off so you don't have to worry about it being permanent. And as you can see, it does get a little bit messy and it is on my hand, but I can tell you that it washed right off. And dolls, I didn't want to color the whole unit because I wasn't really sure if I would like it, but this is what it looks like. So dolls, let me know, do you like the added color? If so, this wax is available in many different colors. So I just wanna show you guys that this color does wash right off. All I did was run it under some hot water. I didn't even add soap and it came right off. Now I'm just playing around with this unit just to show how flexible it is and that you can really style this like you would normal braids. But one of the fun things about having a braided wig is you don't have to worry about the new growth. That is usually the reason why you need to get your hair redone because it's a wig, you won't have new growth. And another fun thing is that you can take it off at night. So dolls, if you're interested in purchasing this wig, I will have all the information in the description box down below. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, be sure and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And as always important, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video.